Hey strangers, how are you? So I do apologize that I've not been on YouTube for a while. Uh, life is always on the go. Um, we've been on holiday, etc., etc. So I wanted to come on today to give you a little bit of an update on where I'm at. Now, as you know, um, I need to check the amount of time ago it was, but it was, it was around March last year when the pandemic first kind of really hit home that we flew back and I did a body transformation challenge. So my history with Slimmer World is that I was with them for a very long time, as you know, lost three stone in three months, more or less kept it off, then had twins. So last year in lockdown, I was like, I need something new. And I took on a 12 week fitness challenge with, well, body transformation challenge with Ben Mackey. So you can go back and you can watch all the videos about that. But what I've decided to do is do a new kind of like, almost like countdown to Christmas challenge with him. So obviously you don't have to lose weight for any particular scenario at all. This is just something to keep me motivated. And as you also probably know, it's my birthday end of November. And last year was my big birthday day and I couldn't do anything for it apart from just celebrate at home which was lovely but obviously it's not the ideal scenario so when I came back from holiday holiday was an interesting one um, and it's, it's so important that you're honest when you do videos like this there is so much out there about body positivity and embracing all the different things that we've got like cellulite etc which honestly I do however holidays always throw up a little bit of like negative self-talk for me I think because you're in a bikini and obviously there's all different shapes and sizes of people around it I just didn't feel as good in my own skin as I had done previously previously so after I did my challenge I did so well and then I had my birthday then I had New Year Christmas and so on and um, inevitably because I chose to stop tracking and I chose to stop doing certain things carried on with the exercise but the food just wasn't great I wasn't in the same shape as I was previously so it almost feels like a little bit of a waste and again I have to be honest like I don't do this necessarily um, for like other people's approval, but it would have been nice when I got down to, you know, one of the leanest that I've probably ever been to have been able to go out there <laughs> and you know live live like that in, in that body out and about it would have been a really good feeling for me because how I look and how I feel and if I feel strong and I feel lean and I feel energized and well rested and very hydrated that's kind of like me at my best and that's just me personally it's all about whatever makes you happy so when I came back from holiday and as you do I was looking through the photos I was like god I look absolutely different like I did last year I'd quite like to get back to that and then Ben popped up on my whatsapp and he was like guess what we're gonna do a, another challenge like countdown to Christmas are you up for taking part so I've signed up to that and I'm gonna give it a go and I just thought I'd tell you about what I'm gonna be doing so I always tend to eat the Slim and World way if you like anyway so I eat lots of free foods um, in terms of the Slim and World free foods I eat um, normally just like one healthy extra a day like porridge or bread and then I try and keep a lid on the sins I eat lots of salads lots of fruit and all that so that's all cool but it's the sins bit. It's it's the kind of like high energy density, low satiety foods where I can be triggered. So I'll eat a lot of the boys' foods or I've got loads of like protein bars and stuff like that. And once I was starting, I couldn't stop. So I got in a little bit of um, a bad habit again with stuff like that. And then not a bad habit, but you know, I. Oh, I don't know, is it a bad habit? I don't know what the right words are. I've got to stop overthinking this and just saying what I feel. And then I thought, right, okay, I'm gonna do something about this. And while I was on holiday, I got chatting to this guy and he's a bare fist knuckle fighter. So he is a bit like, kind of like, I think Anthony Joshua is a bit like that. Um, got a very inspirational background and he was talking about his training and he was talking about how he's not really a runner, but he challenged himself to run 10K and just went and did it. And I just found his whole mentality and his physical achievements really inspirational. So I was like, come on then. Let's do it. So what I'm gonna be doing, starting from Monday, is a new shorter challenge with Ben. So this is not gonna be a 12 week challenge. It's gonna be, I think we said six weeks, or it might be eight weeks. Let me just double check that. But what I'm gonna be doing are the following steps. So at least two liters of water a day. Um, doesn't have to be water, it could be sugar-free squash and so on, as long as it's liquid and not caffeine, not alcohol, nice try. <laughs> and then I'm gonna be doing 10K steps a day or 70,000 over a week. So this sort of thing is flexible and fluid. So if you struggle to get 10K steps in every single day, don't worry about it. I mean, we're twins, I find it 
quite achievable. But if you struggle and you say you only do like 8K one day, 8K is still a lot, but you do 8K one day, you can then make up and do 12 the following day or whatever. As long as over the week you've hit your target of 70, then that's absolutely fine. Also, sleep's really key. So trying to make sure that I'm getting enough sleep is vital. I'm gonna be doing um, about five workouts a week. Now that sounds like a lot, and it is a lot, but that's just what I enjoy and I know I'll get faster results that way. Each workout will consist of around an hour maximum and most of that is gonna be weight training. Probably one out of the five will be core, will be abs um, and maybe more kind of like glutes, which is your bum. Uh, and yeah, so focusing on that type of thing, but overall it's gonna be strength training with dumbbells and with machines at the gym. When I did it previously, I did it all from home. So if you wanna do it from home, then that's absolutely fine too. To get results with Ben, you need to do at least a minimum of three sessions a week. So if you can fit in three a week, either at the gym or at home, and adhere to the other steps, then you'll be fine. So don't freak out if you can't fit in all the exercise and you wanna join me in on this. Then, the most important bit. So exercise, yes, is very key. All the rest is very, very key, but obviously food is what gets the weight off or the fat loss off or changes your body composition. It's gonna be calorie deficit. And we all know that, you know, it's everywhere on the internet. We all know that calorie deficit is where weight loss comes from. Um, my target isn't to lose loads of weight. I'm probably about 10 pound up on where I wanna be. Um, maybe a little bit less, I'm not sure. But it's, for me, more about you know, getting lean again. I just I just really like that look that I got to last year and I'd love to be able to do it and actually celebrate my birthday properly this time. Uh, so yeah, that's that's the goal. I'll probably go away, hopefully. Um, and I just wanna feel how I felt then for my birthday this year. It's gonna be like 40 plus one birthday. So I'll probably aim for around 1,500 calories a day to start with, um, and that's for my personal weight. It's gonna be different for different people. If I feel after the first couple of weeks that I feel restricted or I'm hungry, then I will up that. Ben and I will work together and we'll just tweak it. I've done 1,600 before, I've done 1,800 before. I don't really like to drop any lower than 1,500. I think that's too low to be sustainable. Um, the only time I would ever consider doing that is if I've got a really big weekend coming up and I still want to try and get a weight loss and I still want to get results with my inches and so on, then I would bank some calories through the week and go slightly lower, just dip down a little bit so then I can splurge a bit more at the weekend. It's a bit like I've talked before about like banking money. So it's a bit like banking calories and then spending a bit more from your budget, your weekly budget at the weekend. Um, it, it wouldn't really work doing it every single day for the weekend. I mean, you could, but then you might feel deprived through the week. So that's for me personally, what I'm gonna do. Um, and then in terms of just my mindset, I just, I, I feel completely different. I think when you go on holiday and you have a week off, um, you eat and drink whatever you want at the all-inclusive, and believe me, I did a lot of that. <laughs> and no exercise whatsoever. I didn't go to the gym at all. Apart from just walking when you're, you know, walking to the beach and things like that. I think it just gives you that reset and that pause just to assess things again. And like I said, for me, I just I just love that feeling of feeling toned and feeling fit and feeling healthy and feeling strong. And there's nothing wrong with that. You know, that's just me personally, what I wanna do. So those are my goals. And then on top of all of that, I've decided I'm gonna push myself that little bit further. I'm always telling myself I'm not a runner. And trust me, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not a runner, but I've decided to change the narrative and I'm gonna try and run again. Now, years ago, after a breakup a very long time ago, I was like, right, I'm gonna go on my first girls trip to Ibiza. And to get fit for Ibiza, I started running, which is unheard of, I don't do running. And I could quite easily go and run 5K, um, which to a lot of people is nothing, but to me, that was a huge achievement. Not great at cardio, I could do a combat class and that's about it. So I was running 5k and I felt really good for it and I noticed the change in my legs that I haven't really been able to achieve with just weight training and calories. So throwing in a little bit of cardio I think is going to be good for me. So I'm going to do the couch to 5k again. I'm in week two of that because I started it as soon as I came home. I don't know, I just literally was like, I know, I'm going to do couch to 5k and I'm actually quite enjoying it. So it's just a couple of, you know, a couple of sessions a week. I think it's three runs a week um, or you can spread it out further if you need to and you start off just really gradually 
steadily jogging and then walking. Steadily jogging and then walking. And then very slowly, you'll start to see some in incremental changes where it might go up to like 90 seconds and so on. And then you get hints and tips throughout it. It's a completely free app. So if you wanna give it a go, give it a go. But trust me, it works. I've done it before, so I know I can do it again. It's just trying to fit everything in. Now, I'm lucky that I work from home and I'm lucky that the boys go to preschool two days a week. And I've also got the creche if I need it. I've got family. So for me, this is achievable. For a lot of people that might completely freak you out and you might be like, oh my God, I've got no time to do that. And that's fine. If you just do the calories, just do the water and just do the, you know, the physical side, like the walking and a couple of workouts a week, three workouts a week, then you will get results. Now, I do it via Ben. Honestly, I can give you like a really good, strong personal recommendation. Um, and I paid for my challenge. I didn't get my challenge free. I know people probably think that I did, but I didn't. It's really, really good. I need accountability. I need adherence. I need to be checking in with somebody and I need support. And that's just because I'm human. Yes, I know what I'm doing, but if I've got no accountability, I do struggle and just think, oh, well, I'll start again on Monday. <laughs> oh, well, I'll just go and drink those 10 bottles of beer. <laughs> I don't really drink 10 bottles of beer, but I like a Desperado or two, and I, I like a gin and I like a glass of red wine. Um, but it's it's just drawing that line and thinking about what do I want more. And right now, I would just love to get back to, not necessarily the weight that I got to, because I don't think I'd be able to sustain that, but just a fraction higher on the weight, but more about my body and what it looked like and how I felt in my clothes. A lot of clothes that I was wearing last year are now getting a bit tight. So for me, that's like, mm, I'd rather not go to the next size up. I'd rather stay there. So I'm going to go for it. And I'm feeling really, really motivated. So who's with me? Who fancies coming along on a little ride to getting us ready for our Christmas goals? And if your Christmas goals are not to lose weight or if you have zero motivation and you're not in the right frame of mind and you know you can ignore everything that I've just said in this video, but if you are up for it, then why not join in? On Instagram and on Facebook, I'll be sharing a lot of like more what I eat in a days. I will be meal planning probably on there. If you head over to my stories, I'm gonna post some of my workouts on there. Um, I'm probably more active on Instagram than I am on Facebook, but I will try and keep both of them up to date. And then I will keep checking in with you back on here as well. So I hope you enjoyed that video. It was completely spontaneous as per usual, typical me. I just think I know I'm going to tell people this on YouTube and I'll just make a video so hopefully you've enjoyed watching this video and it's inspired you somewhat if you are interested in Ben's program just go and click on the link down below and just drop him a message because he's so helpful he's actually a friend of mine I know Ben so as I said I can give you a personal recommendation very very confidently um, I've tried loads of different things and I have never ever ever got the results that I got when I was with him okay so that's a pretty good testimonial really so if you want to go and chat to him then chat to him if you want to do it on your own that's cool too whatever you want to do so speak to you soon guys thanks for watching bye